What's going on? Happy Easter, Dodgers Nation. Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all these Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, you're going to find it right here. So be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. As always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today, I want to know from you guys, do you think Gavin Lux is going to be an all-star this season? And I want you to guess his batting average in 2021 and how many home runs he'll hit. Drop those down below in the comments section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we're just two games into the season, and Gavin Lux has looked the part so far for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yesterday, he bat leadoff. He went one for four. For the season so far, he's slashing 385, 429, 692, has an OPS of 1121. He's five for 13, has two triples in three games. He split the gap for a triple the other day to score a run, but we always knew he had that sweet swing. So I wasn't worried about Gavin Lux figuring it out at the plate with the bat. I've been most impressed with other facets of his game, his speed on the base pass, his defense. The other night, Trevor Bauer's first start, he was playing some deluxe defense at second base. Ooh. Missed his spot. Diving stop, Gavin Lux. What a play. And the other thing that's really stood out is the kid from Kenosha is an athlete. He has so much speed. He's so athletic. Just look at him run down the base pass right here to leg out an infield single. Lux pulls it off the end of the bat to first. Crone feeding set. Tangled a little bit about which one is he going to touch. So that sprint speed right there was measured at 30 feet per second. That would fall in the elite category on that play where he beats out Antonio Senzatella for the infield single. And I think it's really big that he's seeing results early in the season, just like he did in spring training. And I think that's going to springboard him into having a great year for the Dodgers. And he talks about that, having results early in the season and what that means for him. I think anytime you get results, it's always like a nice confidence booster, but not necessarily I don't base how I feel on results. Uh, it's more on actually li literally how my mechanics feel, how my swing feels, how I'm handling the at-bats. Um, so really for me, that's kind of where, where I'm putting my focus towards and uh, uh, that's really it. And I love how he's fully embraced his role, batting towards the bottom of the lineup. He was asked about his goals for the 2021 season, and he said he just wants to win. Just win. Um, be, uh, be like a, a table center at the bottom, um, grind out at bats, uh, just get out there, play hard, have fun, dive around, you know, try to make as many plays as possible, but really it's just win. Like, uh, that's really the only focus, and... Um, that's kind of the same for everybody. And then Luxie talked about the adjustments he made to his swing in the offseason, making it more repeatable, making it more consistent. Talking about the setup, all the adjustments he made. Here's Lux on his swing this season. Yeah, I think in my setup, uh, I've raised my bat off my shoulder. I kind of quieted down um, all the Exodus uh, hand movement that I had last year. Uh, so for me, it's just a more repeatable um, swing and it's less susceptible to slide steps. And over the course of uh, 162 games, it's just more repeatable and more sustainable. So. And then Lux talks about how he's not worried about his statistics and that he's more focused on his process. Statistically, not really. I think for me, it's just uh, figuring out like a process that works for me every day in my routine and um, you know, just growing as a player every day individually and, and just trying to get better. I don't think st statistically I'm not super worried about it. Uh, at the end of the day, if I take care of my process and handle my routine and what I'm supposed to do, at the end of the day, I'll take care of itself and the results will be the next thing. So uh, it's just the final routine sticking with it. And you really have to love this kid's attitude. He's embraced his role. He's bought into batting towards the bottom of the lineup. And he was asked if he'd ever bat down there in his career. And here's what he had to say. Uh, honestly, I don't think I ever really hit too far at the bottom of the order. So uh, it's, it's a first. But look at who's ahead of me. There's a lot of really, really, really good players and really good hitters. So, uh, you know, if I could be a pest at the bottom, that's what I'm going to do. 
And then manager Dave Roberts talked about Gavin Lux's start and how he had a really good spring. Yeah, absolutely. Gavin's, uh, like we've talked about, he's been in a good place all spring and uh, he's continued. So it's, uh, it's uh, really good to see him off to a good start on both sides of the ball. And uh, just tonight for me, what really stood out is that leg single. I just love the way you got down the line and, and started in any force. So a very impressive star for Gavin Lux. This is what we thought we were going to see last year, but we're getting it this season. And to me, it's the other parts of his game that are the most impressive. How he's looked defensively, his speed on the base pass. You see him getting more and more confidence each and every at bat, each and every game. He looks so comfortable out there. And I think the big key for Gavin Lux is, like he said earlier, that repeatable swing at the plate, not letting it get overcomplicated, not getting out of sync like we saw last season. And last year, Year. really a bad year for Gavin Lux in limited opportunities 11 for 63 he hit 175 but it was the strikeouts that were a problem for Gavin Lux a 27.5 percent strikeout percentage that number I think is going to be closer to 20 percent this year hopefully he can get under that but I think that's going to be the big key for Gavin Lux is consistently making contact having quality at bats finding a way to make adjustments to some of those pitches that he had issues with last season inside breaking balls pitches like that but I think Gavin Lux is off to a great start like I said a couple months ago this year it's going to be more skill than Lux for Gavin Lux and I think he's off to a great start I think he's primed to have a great year I've got Gavin Lux slashing 276 359 511 and hitting 27 home runs this year but give me your projections down below in the comments guess his batting average and how many home runs he'll hit this year and I want to know from you guys will he make the 2021 all-star team give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Let me know down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Mash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all his Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.